Hello and welcome back to the Star Report video blog. Thanks for tuning in. Now I don't have a guest this week and I've ditched the newsroom for the old back room with the archives here in the Collegian. Other than that, same old, same old thing I'm going to preview this weekend. CSU-BYU matchup on the football field. Word just came in from the practice field that senior safety Mike Pagnotta has a shoulder injury that's going to cost him the rest of the season and thus his career here at CSU. Now, this is a huge blow to the Rams' defense. Not only did Pagnotta step up big in the run game, but he made plays in the secondary, and also he brought a certain amount of leadership and heart that you don't find in many players. That's CSU's defense is sorely going to miss him. And in addition to the injury to fellow senior safety, Clint Kubiak, where it's actually a junior, it's not stacking up to be a good matchup as the BYU Cougars come in with the nation's number 10 passing offense led by quarterback Max Hall. Hall's favorite target is receiver Austin Colley. Colley's ranked number one in the entire nation in receiving yards per game with well over 100. It's going to be a tough task for the Rams need to keep up with this attack, and if that weren't enough, BYU brings in a pair of talented running backs in Fui Vakapuna and Harvey Unga. More reason to believe that this is not going to be the Rams weekend is the fact that CSU hasn't beat a ranked team at Hughes since 1993, as the Cougars are the 17th ranked team in the country. So I'll do a little stargazing here. Like I said, not many, re not many um, choices or not much reason to pick the Rams at all, so I'm going with a blowout. I'm sorry, fans. It's going to be 41-23, uh, um, but thankfully that's just my opinion. Players are going to solve it out on the field on Saturday. This has been the Star Report video blog. Thanks for tuning in. Check me out next week as I'll have a sit-down interview with former coach Sonny Lubick as he opens his restaurant in downtown Fort Collins. Thanks for tuning in.